The opposition MDC party says it is planning to stage a demonstration demanding electoral reforms ahead of the upcoming general elections. In a letter seen by this publication addressed to the police, the MDC party said the demonstrations will be held five days before the August 23 polls under the theme No to Disenfranchisement. We hereby notify you that on the 17th of August 2023, the Movement for Democratic Change intends to hold a peaceful demonstration. The purpose of the demonstration is the demand for electoral reforms in Zimbabwe. The theme will be not to disenfranchisement. We are expecting about 3,000 people to attend. Our route will be starting at Robert Mugabe Swing down Rotten Row Road up to 4th Street, then Robert Mugabe Road westwards and back, reads the letter. This comes after Monzora announced that he was withdrawing from the presidential race, citing unfair treatment following the disqualification of more than 80 parliamentary candidates from his party. He said he has, he has advised the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission of his withdrawal and specifically requested that his name should not be included on the ballot. Zek, however, revealed that a candidate nominated for election as president can withdraw from the election by informing the chief elections officer in writing 21 days before polling day, thereby nullifying Monzora's withdrawal. This effectively means that although Monzora doesn't want to be on the ballot paper, the law requires him to be on the uh, ballot paper, at least according to what they argued here. But this is also bringing up another dispute concerning the 2023 elections. Remember the Sevier Kasukwere case where Sevier Kasukwere was saying the ballot papers should not be printed before the resolution of the courts in his uh, matter against uh, Mr. Mangwan. Then in this instance, we see that Zek is saying that we cannot remove Douglas Munzora from the uh, ballot. But this is bringing up an argument that is worthy a discussion and also that needs a resolution that a lot of people are saying if Douglas Monzora appears on the ballot on the ballot paper on August 23, it effectively means that these ballot papers were already printed prior to Sylvia Kasukwere's case, which means that according to what the people are saying, this might have been an a, a, a premeditated judgment that the judgment was already there and in sec knew what was coming. So if Sevia Kasukwere is not on the ballot and Douglas Manzura appears on the ballot, it raises a whole lot of questions like what we discussed yesterday. So this means that our election this year continues to be full of uh, mishappenings that are being caused by the courts and also by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission.